Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Today we are going to have this bonus video of how to add a scroll view using Snapkit and not using any of storyboard. Um, to get started, we're gonna do something really exciting. We're gonna create another Swift file. Um, I'll actually do it this way. Um, oops, uh, right here, new file. You create a new Swift file. And we're gonna make this a scroll view. So, um, colorful scroll view. We're gonna call it colorful view controller. Okay, that's stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, import UI kit. Um, class colorful. Oops, colorful view controller. UI view controller. Okay, so we're gonna start with that. Um, to get started, we're gonna change this a bit. Um, so instead of going to view controller now, we're gonna go into colorful. Colorful view controller. Okay, so it's gonna push you over to colorful view controller, which is right here. Uh, to get started, we're gonna get view to load again. Super dot view to load. Uh, we're gonna do self dot background color. Self dot view dot background color equals to dot white. Okay, so we're gonna start with scroll view. Let's scroll view equal to UI scroll view. All right, uh, scroll view thought. Um, why not set the bounces? Um, this basically means that when you get to the end, it'll just bounce a bit. Um, true. Scroll view dot content size. Um, CG size. So this is the tricky part where you have to do a little bit of math. Um, so instead of just adding a bunch of things to a scroll view here, you're gonna have to figure out how big. Um, each item is for your scroll view and how many pages you're gonna have. Um, so for example, um, in here, I'm gonna have a page. Uh, you're gonna do like, um, you go center, I'm gonna give it an array of UI colors, okay? So um, I'm gonna give it a type, array of UI color. And then in here, we can do something like dot red, dot gray, dot green, Green dot blue um, dot cyan. Let's just start with five, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, self dot view dot frame dot size dot width times colors dot count, right? And then the height's gonna be like. Uh, for now, we're just gonna do a um, hundred. Okay. So what this does is basically every page, quote unquote, would be. Uh, give or take um, a height of 100, but the size of the screen. Um, let's see what this says. Great, just do that. Okay, so um, here um, we're gonna do uh, self dot view dot add sub view scroll view, right? And then uh, scroll view to snap dot make a string make. We're gonna make the edges that equal to super view. So basically, the scroll view takes up the whole side of the screen. Then for color and colors, um, we're gonna basically be adding uh, uh, the views now, the colors. Um, so we're gonna have a let view, we're gonna UI view, view dot background color, we go to color. Okay. Um, Scroll view dot add sub view 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 dot snap dot make a straight make dot um um make dot width equal to that equal to super view make dot height dot equal to one hundred and then uh, make dot left dot equal to um, self dot view dot frame dot size dot width times index and um, we're gonna get index actually here so we're gonna do a dot enumerated 
And what this does is gives us an index color. So we do a index color. That way we get a zero, one, two, three, four, five. Um, that should be okay. Uh, not okay, so what we needed to do was actually just give it a CG float of index and this would have worked. So let's just try this out and see what happens. So what I'm doing here is actually creating a horizontal scroll view. Um, this is not a vertical scroll view, so it's a little bit different. Um, so as you can see right here, we have all the scroll views here, which is really cool. Um, so we want to make it page by page just so that it's cooler. The scroll view dot is paging enabled. It goes to true. And we'll try that out now. Let's see how that looks. Um, basically, what happens now when every single time you swipe left or right, it will basically move it on its own. See that? So basically, that's that. So as you can see right here, we have a paging indicator which we don't want. So what we want to do here is we actually want to do um, that. Uh, it shows horizontal scroll indicator. It goes to false, and this would remove the scroll indicator. Um, it's totally up to you if you want to do it or not. Um, usually, you don't want people to see this all the way. So let's just say we have a vertical scroll view. Uh, I'm just doing this for so that's easier for us to, sh for us to show you. Um, let's do that really quick. And then uh, for this one, we're just going to do it as um, self.views.frame.size. Okay. Um, and come back here. Um, same stuff. Um, a little bit different this time actually so here bottom left right make the top dot equal to equal to scroll view the snap dot bottom this is so that we can link the top to the um, bottom of the scroll view that works and uh, what we want to do now is um, let's just say we have a really long text right let label equals to do I label? Oops, um, got too excited there. I try to create a text. Uh, we're gonna do label dot text. It goes to that. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do label dot number of lines equal to zero. This means that um, they can keep going down. Uh, we'll always try to keep it pending and pending and pending all the way to the bottom of the screen. Um, it will never stop. Then what we want to do is um, scroll view v scroll view. Dot add self view label okay and then label dot snap dot make constraints which you guys should be used to now what we want to do is um now this is the top of the scroll view remember that because um, we had the scroll view added so this is gonna be the top so make the top that equal to super view i want to bring it down a bit so that we have some spacing in the top um make that with that equal to super view dot multiplied by 0 0.8 this sort of has some padding as well in the two left and right sides of it and to do that we have to make that sensor x that equals super view and um, just to show you guys for, for example right so we run this right now you can notice that the scroll view doesn't scroll at all and i'll show you why so you click next it's here but it doesn't scroll all the way right so it's there basically it's kind of weird right um so a few things uh, you do um screenshot right here um so we can see a snapshot as you can see it stops right there right so we're just gonna keep going from there so there's that so what we want to do is actually um make dot bottom dot equal to super view so that we're telling the label to go to the bottom the scroll view so scroll view scroll all the way to the bottom of the label so when we click next now you see that we can scroll a lot further and we can actually get to the bottom of the scroll view right here, right? So obviously we want to also add some padding, padding here. So we're going to do offset. Let's just say minus 20, um, just with some padding. Um, and this is basically how you create a vertical scroll view inside of a um, view controller. Um, obviously here you probably want to have a vertical scroll indicator. So we just remove that. Um, default is true, so show it by default. Uh, I just removed it, but yeah, so for here, here, for example, we want to hide it, but here we want to probably show it so the user has an idea of where it's scrolling, for example. So this is exactly how you do it. This is how to do scroll view snapkit.